Hello, I'm Glenn W. Hunter of Hunter and Beyond LLC. And with me today is Don Morris. Don Morris is a relationship marketing coach with Remarkable. And I'm happy to say he is one of my go-to marketing minds. And Don, I'm so grateful that you're going to spend some time with me, with our audience today, and talk about the contribution you make, not just to the business community, but really the way you touch lives and help other professionals grow. So thank you for spending this time with me today. Thank you, Glenn. I appreciate you uh, uh, inviting me to be here and, and regale your audience. Indeed. <laughs> So, you know, one of the things that you've shared with me, especially the way you approach business and the way that you um, use really tangible tools to have remarkable experiences with your audience, is that it's really important that your interactions are relational versus transactional. And in a world where, you know, everyone is quick to be money focused, you're relationally focused and still manage to be successful. How does that work? Well, let me go back just a little bit. Um, I, I've been in business for over 30 years and I was one of those guys who thought that, that, that running a business meant I needed to be out and getting new clients all the time. And while certainly that's true, what I found way too late, I think, is that I was spending much more of my time doing that than in developing the relationships I had with people that were already buying from me. Um, and it became uh, incredibly difficult for me to go out and get the new clients um, at the same pace that I was losing clients because I was not paying attention to them. So my focus now, at least for the last uh, five, six years, has been on helping business owners kind of um, avoid the mistakes or at least uh, recover from the same mistakes that I made and uh, spend more time on developing those relationships with the people that are buying from you now, getting them to buy from you more often, maybe buying even more from you, and certainly um, giving uh, referrals to you because you have developed a relationship with them that means that they will never, ever leave you. Yeah. I tell you, the way you pivot around relationships, I mean, it's just strictly, it, it comes straight to the core, um, not just of who you are, but of your product offering. So, you know, just for the sake of clarity, how would you describe the product offering as you're doing these interactions? What is it you're selling and in, in, inserting into the marketplace uh, to make your clients happy? Well, my primary tool that I recommend to my clients is a greeting card and gifting platform. Now, that isn't I'm not saying that you need to send greeting cards and gifts to people to get them to pay attention to you. But what I am saying is that you can use that and other tools to make the person that gets these interactions with you think of you favorably. Um, Maya Angelou, I believe, said, and I think she was quoting uh, Teddy Roosevelt, that the world will uh, long, oh, I can't re remember the exact uh, quote, but basically it's that they're not going to remember uh, who you are and what you did um, so much as what the, what you did for them and how you made them feel. So I believe in using text messages, cards, gifts, emails, even video messages to make people feel better and remember you because you made them feel that way. Um, so I am a, an affiliate for send out cards, and I believe that it is the best way for you to reach out in kindness to other people, especially for those uh, events in their life that come up uh, that don't have anything to do with your business. Remember their birthdays. Uh, remember them when the, a job promotion comes up or something that you can celebrate for them, something that you can encourage them about. So mm -hmm. if you will do those kind of things, then they are going to remember you and refer you and even do business with you. 
I tell you, that whole tangibility with send out cards is so unique in an, uh, in an age where, you know, everything is either tweeted or TikToked or Instagrammed or the myriad of online services and technology um, applications uh, that we've become prey to. You have a unique way, yet um, very uh, effective way of connecting. Talk about send out cards and how that effectively gets you to stand out in the marketplace, connecting with people. Sure, I think the thing that sets send out cards apart, it, as you said, it is tangible. I won't say that sending somebody greetings on Facebook, social media, a text message, email is ineffective, but it's fleeting. That shows up as a birthday greeting on Facebook and it's gone in just a couple of minutes. It no longer shows up on your feed. Right. But when you receive that send out card in the mail, you open up the envelope, you look at it and there is a picture of you or an event in your life on that card, mm -hmm. you're not gonna throw that away. You're gonna put it up on your mantle, on your, uh, on your desk, on your refrigerator. And it may be, I tell my clients that you don't have to send cards just about the person that's receiving the card, but maybe for their family members, their kids, their wife, yes, even their dog. Send that card and they are going to hold on to that forever and every time they look at that card they are going to think about you so i i actually know people who treat their dogs better than their children and in some of those cases i think the dog behaves better than the children so it's, it's true <laughs> but you know i think the thing that really sticks out with to me with your approach again is that emotional connectivity and that is a byproduct, not just of who you are, but the way the product actually operates. So you have something tangible, there's emotional connectivity and a physical component. When you bring all of those together, what is the impact you're looking for to have with that client? The impact is I want to touch their heart. Mm. I don't want to simply touch their mind. Um, one of my friends says this, he says, fire your brain, hire your heart. I don't, I want to get, I want to get myself out of my head and speaking from my heart. I want to get my clients out of their head, speaking from their heart. And I want them to touch their client's heart so that there is that emotional connection and, and whether or not that actually turns into business or not, you're going to have a friend for life. Indeed. So that actually leads right into my next question because you are making that uh, social emotional connection. Um, what does success look like for your clients? First off, I think that the, I. I with the ideal use of send out cards or any other tool to make that emotional connection with their existing clients, they're going to find themselves spending less time, money, energy, going after the new client. That relieves a ton of stress from them. Can you imagine what your business would be like if you were working from a 100% referral-based uh, business. It relieves a lot of stress because you don't need to be out there hustling. Secondly, because you are in the mode of appreciating people and showing gratitude for them, that develops a, a mindset and an emotional component within you that actually makes you live your life better. I think a lot of the problems that we have in the world today are because we have gone away from feeling gratitude for the things that we have, the people that are in our lives, for the events that happen to us. There is always something positive that can become, that we can find from anything that happens around us. Mm -hmm. And if we live into that, we are more happy, we are more joyful. And so 
A successful business person who is using these success techniques are going to find themselves with more business and a much more fulfilled life. Wow. You know, I think we have to be mindful that fundamentally people still do business with people. And I think your approach really kind of just jumps out in the marketplace because you do interact with people. Obviously, there's um, a fulfillment component to it. I mean, you have to get your message from here to there. You have to have things produced. But when you still have the ability to take that tangibility and to use the term I, I like to use in my business, tug at the heartstrings, I think you end up with a more sustainable uh, a more sustainable relationship, which means you're going to get more referrals, you're going to get more sales, and consequently more success. Yes, go for the heartstrings before you go for the purse strings. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's all that. If you will hit the heart first, everything else will follow. Indeed, indeed. So where the rubber hits the road, your ideal client approaches you at a business mixer. What is the most essential point that you wish to connect with that particular ideal client in that environment? What's your go-to line? Uh, so my elevator speech is I help my clients keep their clients. And that happens through building strong relationships and showing gratitude. Yeah. You know, you think about it in this very, very fast paced, bustling age, you're showing gratitude definitely goes a long way in being memorable. Dare I say, being remarkable. So with that being said, parting shots, what's the one thing you want every prospect or potential prospect that's viewing you right now to know about Don Morris and the value he delivers to his clients? Um, I would say that just reach out to me and talk to me. Uh, I love getting to know people. I want to know what makes them tick. I want to know why they got into business. I want to know about their kids. I want to know um, what they love to do for uh, their hobbies, what they do uh, to meet, meet other people. All of those things help me build a picture in my mind of who John Doe is mm -hmm. so that number one, I know how to celebrate them. And number two, I know how to bring people into their lives so that they can be more fulfilled and more connected. Speaking of fulfilling and connecting, how do we reach you? Well, you can find me, you know what? I don't even want to give you my website. I want you to connect with me. And so I'm going to give you my telephone number. It's 951 242 Three seven nine eight nine eight. Send me a text message. Uh, set some time to meet with me, and uh, and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm not going to sell to you. I want to relate to you. I want you to get away from a transactional mindset, go into a relational mindset. And if I can help you do that, I would love to do that. Outstanding connections, relationship. All those things drive the bottom line, not because that's the goal. Well, I guess it is the goal, but primarily because guys like Don who stand out in, in this field, they know how to connect and create value simultaneously. Don, thank you so much for spending time with us. Can you tell them one more time how to get a hold of you? Sure, just text me at 951 242 Three seven nine eight. Let's connect and see where it goes from there. Don Morris, I'm Glenn W. Hunter. Thank you very much for your attention. And by all means, just remember the power of relationship. And when you think about that, think about Don Morris. Thank you, Glenn.